Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we're going to be talking about Star Trek Discovery. Okay, you naysayers who like to say that uh, Star Trek Discovery is dead. Hey, guess what? It's coming back for season three. How about them apples? I know some of you are probably saying, well, those apples are rotten. Are they rotten like tomatoes? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, new showrunner will bring Star Trek Discovery back for season three. Could we please not make it the Michael Burnham show? Please and thank you. Alex Kurtzman will share executive producing duties with Michelle Paradise. But will the show be a paradise? That's the big question. Star Trek Discovery has been renewed for a third season, Variety reports. Additionally, there will be a small shift in the show's leadership. Well, we already know about that. And who cares about credentials? Kurtzman took over the show during season two after the previous showrunner departed amidst some workplace controversy. Uh, he previously co-wrote the 2009 Star Trek movie reboot, directed by J.J. Abrams. Before that, he was a writer and producer on Alias, Hercules, A Legendary Journey, Xena, Warrior Princess Fringe, and a number of CBS broadcast procedurals like Hawaii Five O, Limitless, and Scorpion. But we're not going to tell you the person's name. I guess you're going to have to Google it. Paradise previously created the MTV series X's and O's. Worked as a writer on CWC or CW series Heart of Dixie and was an executive producer for the originals, also on the CW. So it sounds like uh, this is going to be uh, a great season. I don't know. Discovery has seen a great deal of turnover and leadership since it was first announced, though that's not irregular for Hollywood. To date, CBS has considered the show a success for its all-access subscription service. In fact, the network has announced plans for several new Star Trek series that will air alongside it in the coming months and years, including a spin-off about Michelle Yeo's Giorgio character and Federation Secret Spy Agency sec Section 31. I'm interested in that. I, I didn't even know that there was going to be a, a spin-off uh, with her. Uh, sign me up. <laughs> I'll watch that one. That, that one I would really be interested in seeing. Because there's a Star Trek we haven't seen before. Yeah, we've heard about Section 31, but have we had a show that was centered around Section 31? No. That I'm interested in. That's a Star Trek story that I want to see. Uh, a post-Voyager series focused on Patrick Stewart as the Next Generation's Captain Picard. And an animated comedy titled Lower Decks. Not to be confused with the decidedly not hilarious The Next Generation episode of the same name. To some degree, Kurtzman is likely to step back from Discovery as Paradise steps up. Likely because he... He will be leading figure... Who? Wait a minute. Michelle Paradise. Is, is that a he? Or is Alex Kurtzman? Oh, Alex. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting confused on who is who here. Um, Julie McNamara, Executive Vice President of CBS All Access Original Content, published the following statement. Um, the massive success of Star Trek Discovery second season launch exceeded our expectations in both driving subscriber growth and generating a phenomenal response from Star Trek fans. Um, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, I know there's some like out there for Star Trek Discovery, um, especially, uh, with the game Star Trek Online, because I, 
I'm uh, I'm following them on Twitter, and I see a lot of people's posts, and major majority of the posts that I see, people are excited about Star Trek Discovery and and the stuff around it, and um, and on the flip side, I know there's a lot of people that uh, just don't care about it and don't want anything more to do with it. So why they keep going to videos and bitching and moaning about it, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you're dumb with something, don't you usually move on? I know I do. Um, but anyway, that's all there is to it. Really no other news about Season 3 other than it's going to happen. Of course, that could change. You know, they say some things are going to happen and then they wind up not happening. So I guess we will see. Uh, so far, I'm liking Season 2. I'll say that. Um, I really like uh, Captain Pike. I, I think they've been doing a fantastic job uh, with his character. I think Anson Mount has been has been doing a great portrayal of him. Um... I think the story is is uh, is interesting. It's 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 got me hooked. It's uh, as far as what's really going on. Uh, as I said before, I really don't care about Michael Burnham. I wish that she would just be pushed to the back, um, so that way we could get some more focus on some different characters. But I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me on this rambling uh, episode, and I will see you on the next one.